Hello, happy readers and inspiring writers. My name is J.W. Crawford. You can call me the Foff, and welcome to Foff Talk, where fiction becomes reality. Have you ever wondered when the last time your teacher washed their coffee mug was? Have you ever noticed that strange, fuzzy green smell, something like a mixture of old socks and rotten cabbages coming out of their mug? I have. In fact, I had a teacher growing up whose mug went unwashed for so long it smelled like some kind of science experiment was growing inside of it, and that inspired me to write the story, Mr. Pratt's Coffee Mug, the story of a boy who notices a strange life form growing inside his teacher's coffee mug. Let's check that story out today on Foff Talk Fiction. And remember, if you like the story, smash that like button, hit subscribe, leave me a comment telling me about the grossest thing you've found in a classroom. Let's check it out now. Mr. Pratt's Coffee Mug, written by J.W. Crawford, illustrated by S. Skelton. It started off as a normal Monday morning at Mardell Elementary School. Oliver sat in his normal desk, wearing his normal round framed glasses, doodling in his normal notebook. Mr. Pratt was in his normal place at the front of the classroom, giving a lesson in his normal boring way. Mr. Pratt was not a very clean person. His desk was cluttered, his garbage can was overflowing with bits of paper, his bookshelf was so stuffed it looked ready to explode at any moment. Worst of all was his coffee mug. It had not been washed in a very long time. So long that it was starting to smell. It smelled so terribly that any children who walked within three feet of it would turn green and fall over. Oliver looked at the filthy, gross mug. As he stared at it, two small eyes peeked over the rim. Nearly tumbling out of his chair, he blinked hard and shook his head. When he looked again, the eyes were gone. Did you see that? Oliver asked his friend Natalie. Did I see what? she answered. Something just peeked out of Mr. Pratt's coffee mug. Natalie rolled her eyes. You're so weird, Oliver. Oliver looked around the room. Everyone else was busy writing in their notebooks. None of them had seen the strange pair of eyes in the coffee mug. There was a knock at the door. Mr. Pratt stomped over to see who it was. Everybody be quiet, please, Mr. Pratt said. Anyone being noisy will stay in at recess. Most of the children started working. Oliver just stared at the coffee mug. The pair of eyes appeared again. Spring! The strangest little creature jumped out of the mug and landed on Oliver's desk. It had two big slug-like eyes two arms, four legs, and green skin. When it looked at Oliver, it tilted its head, stuck out its tongue, and went, Blah! Oliver poked his pencil at the creature. It leapt off his desk and onto Mr. Pratt's overstuffed bookshelf, disappearing behind the books. Oliver got up from his seat and ran to the shelf. Nobody else saw the critter emerge from the mug or land on Oliver's desk. Oliver stared up at the shelf, trying to spot the creature. A book flew off and landed straight on his head. Ouch! he cried, rubbing his head. Stop it! You'd better stop it, Oliver, Jimmy warned. We don't want to miss recess. But it's not me, Oliver said. It's the thing from Mr. Pratt's coffee mug. Everyone turned to look towards the door, wondering if Mr. Pratt had heard the noise. 
everyone except Oliver. He saw the coffee mug creature leap from the bookshelf to the art table and chased after it. Oliver reached for the monster. It hopped onto an overturned bottle, squirting him all over with sticky white glue. Oliver squealed and dove at the little green monster. Papers flew everywhere as Oliver sprawled across the table. He missed the creature as it bounced back up onto the bookshelf. Covered in papers and little foam shapes, Oliver screamed and ran after it, shaking the bookshelf as hard as he could until... Crash! The shelf exploded. What's all that noise? Mr. Pratt roared as he ran back into the room. It sounds like a zoo. The children all turned and shook their fingers at Oliver. They missed the little green creature slip quietly back inside Mr. Pratt's coffee mug. It took one last look at Oliver, stuck out its tongue, and dropped out of sight. Oliver sat in his desk during recess, pulling sticky pieces of paper from his hair. What did you learn today, Oliver? Mr. Pratt asked. Oliver glared at the coffee mug. To keep my dishes clean, you never know what's going to come jumping out. Hey everyone, thanks for coming to check out our story today on Foff Talk Fiction, Mr. Pratt's Coffee Mug. A big shout out to S. Skelton, our illustrator that brought this project to life. If you'd like to purchase your own copy of the story, please check out the link below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the story, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell to turn on notifications for future videos. And beyond that, keep on writing, keep on reading, keep on being good to each other. Foff Talk, out.